today we will discuss a numerical problem from the topic of stability of vehicle so let's see the statement first a vehicle weighing 13.4 kilo newton has its center of gravity in the center of 1.4 meter track at a height of 70 centimeter above the road surface if lateral adhesion is 0 0.6 so what is given is the weight of the vehicle and track that is this t the wheel track is given that is 1.4 meter <coughs> height of 70 centimeter above the ground surface uh, means this height h height of the center of gravity from the road surface is given if lateral adhesion that is coefficient of friction mu 0 0.6 so what we need to calculate at what velocity will the vehicle begin to slide on a level surface so the first question is for the level surface that is at what velocity will the vehicle begin to slide on a level surface and what weight remains on the inner wheels when this vehicle is traveling in a curve of 36.6 meter radius so first we will solve this a part so <clears throat> this is the formula for sliding velocity at level road so v is equal to under root mu gr this formula we have derived in our previous video that is when theta is equal to 0 velocity is under root mu gr so just put the value of mu g and radius that is this radius is 36.6 meter and you will find the velocity 14.68 meter per second and also convert it into kilometer per hour next we have to also find what weight remains on the inner wheels when this vehicle is traveling on a curve of 36.6 that is on the inner wheels means this wheel what weight will remain when this vehicle take a turn so we have to first calculate the transfer of weight from the inner wheel to outer wheel then minus or subtract this transfer of weight from half of the total weight of the vehicle because on this wheel the total weight of the vehicle is half half of the weight of the vehicle is on the inner wheel and half of the weight of the vehicle is on the outer wheel so from the half of the weight of the vehicle we have to minus the weight transfer from this we will find the weight remaining on the inner wheel so how will you find <coughs> first of all apply the formula for weight transfer it's always uh, that is mu into weight of the vehicle h upon t because weight transfer is directly proportional to height this h and inversely proportional to wheel track so from this formula we have put the value of mu weight weight of the vehicle h and t and this is your weight transfer but remaining weight on the inner wheels we have to subtract this weight transfer from the half of the weight of the vehicle because in actual practice half of the weight of the vehicle will be on the inner wheel so from here we have put the value of weight of the vehicle and weight transfer and we have calculated weight on the inner wheels 2680 newton in the b part what we have to find is <coughs> If the road becomes banked at 20 degree for the same radius what velocity the vehicle begin to slide on a level surface so now uh, there is a banked angle theta is equal to 20 degree so this is your angle you can see this theta is now 20 degree and you have to find out sliding velocity so sliding velocity for the back road we apply the formula we have derived this formula in the previous video if you have not watched that video kindly watch it this is the formula for the velocity sliding velocity on a banked road put the value of mu theta and g and r and you will get the sliding velocity on a banked road and uh, from this you will calculate the velocity 21.04 meter per second convert it into kilometer per hour second thing 
we also have to find out weight remains on the inner wheels so similar concept will be used weight remain on the inner wheel how will you find it we have to subtract we have to subtract the transfer of weight from the half of the weight of the vehicle in this way we will calculate the weight remain on the inner wheels so how will you calculate this transfer of weight again apply the same formula transfer of weight that is wt is equal to mu into weight of the vehicle h upon t now in this case uh, uh, instead of uh, writing weight of the vehicle we, we will write cf sin theta that is mv square r sin theta plus w cos theta means mg cos theta why this uh, thing we have used here because when your road is backed then the vertical forces will be cf sin theta and w cos theta instead of weight of the vehicle so in this case when your road is backed we will use w cos theta and cf sin theta so we have written these values cf sin theta and w cos theta and put the value of weight that is mass here is mass so mass is weight upon gravity that is 1340 upon 9.81 rest of the values will be same and uh, you will calculate the weight transfer the weight transfer will be 6169.8 newton and from this you will calculate the uh, weight on the inner wheels that is after subtracting it from the half of the weight of the vehicle and it is 530.2 newton again uh, we have to find what uh, will be the velocity at which no weight transferred so <clears throat> now how will you calculate this velocity when there is no weight transfer it means that your vehicle is completely stable and when your vehicle is stable it means that the resultant of centrifugal force and weight of the vehicle will be perpendicular to the road surface so this resultant that is centrifugal force and weight of the vehicle the resultant of these two forces will be perpendicular to the road surface and uh, from this we, we will apply the formula when there is no weight transfer velocity is equal to under root tan theta gr this formula we have actually derived in the previous videos so this is your formula here when there is no weight transfer c when no, the, uh, then no weight or loading has been transferred there uh, therefore we will apply this formula for velocity tan theta under root gr so we will apply this formula and uh, calculate the value of the velocity when there is no weight transfer put the value of theta and g and, and r and take the under root and the velocity will be 11.43 meter per second or we can say 41.15 kilometer per hour so this completes this numerical so there is another numerical which is very simple we can discuss it quickly a car is traveling in a curved path at a radius of 42 meter which is banked for safety at angle 16 degree if coefficient of friction is this at what speed would this vehicle commence to slide up the banking so this is the question for the banked banked road so we will apply the uh, formula for the sliding velocity on a banked road so this is mu plus tan theta upon 1 minus mu tan theta gr under root so from this we will calculate the sliding velocity that is 17.94 meter per second and convert it into kilometer per hour so this completes the two numericals from the topic of uh, stability of vehicle okay guys thank you